thank you for watching and I really appreciate uh, the positive comments and I just felt that it was important to bring out some real important facts um, some truth about different cultures of people because a lot of times people are under the impression that especially um, primarily within the black culture that we have a lot of problems or a lot of issues which any culture has its issues and its problems and a lot of the issues can be very similar or they might be some of the same issues it's just another person of a different background or a different culture or a different race or nationality having some of the same issues and one is fidelity infidelity infidelity which is a big issue in the black culture so we've been fed some truth and we've been fed a lot of lies I would say more lies than truth and the truth is that any culture in any person who has that tendency to cheat in a committed relationship it's evident that it could come from any background any culture any person if that individual decides that they want to cheat if they are with a cheating heart or cheating intentions no matter if he's white no matter if he's Asian no matter if he's black no matter if he is Hispanic no matter if the woman is white the woman is Asian if she is from the Latin or Latina culture if that individual has that cheating heart they will cheat on their mate so a lot of people will go outside of their nationality or background or race and culture and if they've had a lot of uh, problems within their own cultures they feel there are some people that feel that if they date outside of their race that maybe things will be better if they date a woman who isn't like if you're a black man and you've had issues with black women and relationships haven't worked out you feel like if you date a woman that is Asian or you marry a woman that is Asian or marry a woman that's white or date a woman that's white um, that relationships will be better this is not true it depends on that individual so even if she is not black she if she's going to cheat she's going to cheat if that's what she does if that's in her in her personality if that's she's not faithful if she's into being in faithful which is infidelity then she's going to cheat and the same goes with a black woman if she has had problems with marrying black men or are the big issue in the black culture is black males not wanting to commit in relationships so you'll have black females who will date outside of their race with the intention that if they date a man who isn't black that maybe he won't have a cheating heart or he won't cheat well contrary to what we've been fed other cultures from other backgrounds and other nationalities if that individual has a cheating heart they will cheat so I wanted you to take a look at this uh, website and the website was called or is called let's say it's still it's still in progress it's still active it's called Ashley Madison so Ashley Madison has had a history this website in particular Ashley Madison is a Canadian online dating service and a social networking service marketed to people who are married and in committed relationships 
The Ashley Madison Agency is the world's largest online social networking community of its kind, and it caters to people who are already in committed relationships or they're married. It was founded in 2002 by a Darren Morgenstern with the slogan called Life is Short, Have an Affair. The name comes from two popular female names, Ashley and Madison. The company received attention in 2015. Hackers stole all of the customer data, including emails, names, home address, sexual fantasies, credit card information, and threatened to post all of the data online if Ashley Madison and fellow Avid Life Media sites of establishmen.com were not permanently closed. So all of the customer names were released by hackers. This was by July the 22nd. With all of the user data released August 18, 2015, more data, including the CEO emails, were released August 20, 2015. The release included data from customers who had earlier paid like a $19 fee to Ashley Madison to allegedly have their information or data deleted permanently. But the fee also applied to people who had accounts set up against their will as pranks from workplace people or because of mistyped email addresses. August 28, 2015, a Noel Bitterman agreed to step down as the chief executive officer of Avid Life Media. A statement was released by the firm said that his departure was in the best interest of the company, but July 2016, a parent company called Avid Life Media was rebranded by the name itself to Ruby Corp and appointed Rob Siegel as the new CAO of the company. In the same month, the company dropped a signature tag not line that it used, Life is Short, Have an Affair, to find your moment. And it updated its brand imagery to replace the image of a woman wearing a wedding ring with a red gem shaped symbol as its logo. So that's to get you up to speed on the issues of cheating. So here you see Avid Life Media, how they had warned them if they failed to shut down the website that they were going to post everybody's personal I information. So this is a list of cities, towns, users, and the numbers. You see the numbers of users who currently are using Ashley Madison. Now, this is from different cultures, different backgrounds, different people. And these people are, mind you, they're in committed relationships. These are people who are married. They have children. They have families. And if you would look at the history behind this website, you would learn that when they did have the data breach, there was death. People that were devastated when they found out that their husband or their wife was cheating on them. So some people committed suicide. Some people wanted to commit violence, acts of violence towards their spouse, the cheating spouse. So Ashley Madison is still up and running despite all of the tragedy that happened and the history that it has behind it. Okay. Infidelity, cheating, adultery when married, being unfaithful, okay? It has nothing to do with your race. It is the individual. It is a violation of a couple's assumed or stated contract regarding emotional or sexual exclusivity. Other scholars define infidelity as a violation according to the subjective feeling that one's partner has violated a set of rules or relationship norms. This violation results in feelings of sexual jealousy and rivalry. What constitutes an act of infidelity is 
dependent upon exclusivity expectations within the relationship. In marital relationships, exclusivity expectations are commonly assumed, although they are not always met. When they are not met, research has found that psychological damage can occur, including feelings of rage, betrayal, lowering the sexual or personal confidence, and damaging the self-image of the individual. Depending on the context of men and women can experience social consequences if their act of infidelity becomes public, the form and extent of these consequences are often dependent on the gender of the unfaithful person okay so even in the white culture which everybody thinks is so perfect certain individuals think that whites don't have problems in their relationship they get married they commit they stay in committed relationships these are the stereotypes that are fed in American culture in particular and other cultures outside of America that the white is right, the white culture is perfect, there's no cheating, they stay in committed relationships. You can be married to somebody and be totally miserable. Totally miserable. You can be married to somebody who's cheating on the daily. And it doesn't matter if that person is white, if that person is Asian. And you have a lot of women that have been hurt. And you have men that have been hurt as well. But you have in the black culture especially, you have women that that assume that if this man is not black, that he won't cheat on you. That is a lie. I'm going to even take it a step further to say, is even if you are in a gay lesbian relationship, you can be cheated on. In that in that culture too there is infidelity just because you're in the gay life doesn't mean that you can't be cheated on it can happen in those relationships as well it could be even more volatile volatile so you here are looking at George Zimmerman he cheated on his wife with an ex-girlfriend who he physically abused and this is a picture of him George Zimmerman get he gets physical with his father-in-law injuring the man's nose and then breaking his wife's iPod as she recorded the assault the confrontation erupted from a meeting regarding their divorce which Shelley Zimmerman filed recently okay so it talked about Zimmerman being a cheater Okay, so now you see this, and you can look back on when that happened, and I will post um, the date when that article came out about George Zimmerman cheating. And we know that he has racial issues. And you see here, it says, stop now, don't email my wife. So this is some guy that was inflamed about his wife cheating and a man emailing her, possibly on one of these sites. So... Despite what we think, that going outside of our race and dating someone else is perfect, it isn't. Think again. <laughs>